Overpass. It was Fnatic that were running the boards now. Well, guess what? We get to go to Overpass and potentially train. There's a real chance for train here, Hugo. Yeah, I really think so. This is a really good map for Fnatic. They've been taking scalps on this one, being NIP, being Astralis, taking down some really good Overpass teams. FaZe, they've been leaning away from this map, so maybe they've got some tricks up their sleeve. Maybe they've done some homework here if they're expecting it in the series, but we'll have to wait and see. CT side is start for FaZe with a big old B stack. It's going to be Rain spotting mid. He sees the bomb. He runs right back. And FaZe can bring a rotation up towards that top site to assist. Here is Brokey. So pretty standard pistol around here for FaZe. Fnatic are just defaulting, spreading over the map. We have a smoke thrown from outside B into heaven. And it's all going to be a bit of a ruse here as Fnatic go up the connector. And the bomb heads towards A. Well, sometimes you got to up the smoke. You go, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start to get some more smoke coming out of these barrels over here on this A site. And so far, it's Roland leading the charge with two Glock kills. That's gonna go a long way in what is the offensive measure here to the side of Fnatic. Now that they get this bomb down, they can back off a little bit. They can feel a little bit secured in that there's only three players from phase alive in a retake scenario. Highly unlikely, in fact, not likely at all, as it doesn't look like they're gonna go for it. Colt's had enough. He's not even, he's got the kit, Trace, and he's hanging around being like, yeah, guys, yeah, stick the bomb. It's only 10 seconds, it's fine. You'll be, you'll be good. Uh, uh, they're going to save their armor. He's going to save the kit. He was looking for this kill down B lower, but Flusher is trying to cut off rotations from the B bomb site. He's actually going to get cut down from behind. But does he get a kill before that point? He certainly dinks B mass. But here's the flank from Cold. Uh oh, whiff shots Ooh. does recover. But I mean, th these I mean, kills mean nothing for Faith. Yeah, it, it means absolutely nothing at this point at all. Pretty much for gigs. Oof. Roland's going to have the last laugh after all. Man, they put up three kills here in the pistol, two pivotal ones that got the bomb planted over in the A site. So hats off to Brolin. Of course, Fnatic securing a pistol round. Should lead them to have just a couple more underneath their belt. And we're off again. AK's out for the side of Fnatic. A MAC-10 in Flush's hands. Always... Always a little preferential to the MAC-10. I do, I, I appreciate the MAC. You're a big fan? Yeah. You're, I, a, you're an Ammonek fan? Well, I'd rather use the MAC than say like, you know, the auto shotgun, the big chug as it's called. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I mean, MAC-10 cheaper as well. So you're looking for some uh, more bang for your buck. Well, right. that's uh, at least going to provide that. Right now, FaZe are on the force. And so they've not got much buck, but they're looking for bangs. And uh, Nico, he's full of them. He's going to be firing down the connector. JW goes back down the ladder. Oh dear, Nico, he's considered it, but he can't hit the <laughs> shot. He's got three bullets left and no Ooh. chance to hit them. JW shuts him down. The wiggle jiggle on the ladder goes the favor of Fnatic. The wiggle jiggle. What a, just a scary situation for Nico. There's a couple shots he could have taken there. None of them, of course, land, and that does net him out of the round. And Dexter here, Fnatic upper, with the upper hand at least. And it looks like they want to have a party with it too. If he's a gambling lower right now. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Putting four on this B bomb site, hoping that Fnatic come their way. But I mean, look at this assimilation of Swedes up in the top site. They're just walking up shore right now. No reason to back up here. Bomb is at the back and can always go down connector if they get fearful. But why would they get fearful? There's no one here for phase. Flusher and Fnatic about to completely clean out this A bomb site. The smoke on the site clears everything. And well, the Max ends run and gun, and there's no one to be seen. Phase know this round is lost, and they might just be considering saving so they can uh, you know have at least something in that follow up eco round. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about cleaning up this site. This is almost that feeling you get when you're like your parents tell you to clean your room, but you just did supposedly apparently it's not good enough but you look at it now there was nobody in the site here phase had no defense on the a site so it's basically a gifted round a free round for the side of fanatic Go up to two with ease broke you with the scout wants to put some kind of fire down range it's something as a response for the phase clan in this round because otherwise there's been nothing and there will be nothing trace that's not going to change here be getting away with his gun I want to move a little further back from that bomb. He is right below it, but things are okay here on the B-bomb site. Fnatic go up 2-0 with lots alive as well. Already starting off well on the T side of this map. And I think, you know, obviously overpass CT side of map, you know, Fnatic, they don't get the pick considering yeah. it is their pick. But I think this is exactly where they want to start. You know, getting control, getting to control the pace rather, uh, going up against a phase clan who aren't are going to be as prepared on this map as Fnatic. And so they are directing things here. 2-0, phase on the save, still waiting for that loss bonus to kick in. So, you know, in theory, if Olaf's spirit was in the server right now, which, who, would it be which on? side would it be on? Ah, that's a great, great question. Great conundrum yeah, now. I don't, who I don't is like Olaf supporting? That is a good question. Oh my goodness. No, He's I mean, got to be watching, surely. Of course. Olaf, I mean, who are you supporting, man? 
Yeah, let us know. Phase. It would be a tough call. Yeah. We're going to pull off past this one onward and look into the site now as we have a little bit of a tension for FaZe Clan over on the B site, full of pistols only, but they have stacked over here in numbers. Of course, there's not really anybody home. Fnatic taking this around very cautiously, playing it slow. They know that FaZe Clan could definitely be up to something funky. That seems to be the deal. Yeah, something's in the water. It looks a little green. Fnatic, they look a little keen. JW just crept into the A site. Look at that rotation coming through from Cold. It's silent, but so is JW. Neither of them are going to know. And JW's got the drop. Cold not ready for a deep position like that. And Rain is still on long, but JW's dropped to cut off rotations. A player in heaven should have communicated that. Brokey's going for the knife. Oh, I love this. It's so sneaky. It's so uh... cheeky. And he's got an AK upgrade as well. The death is there, but who cares? Brokey knifes JW, and there's not many people who can say they've done that. Yeah. Right off the top. Brokey. He also lets his teammate die for that knife. Well, I'd like to make that very clear. Someone came through CT. Brokey didn't tell them. Well, maybe it was communicated. Hey, man, you know, we want to kind of get the uh, the mental edge in this game early on. So perhaps uh, we'll let you go for this knife at the expense of my own life. But probably not. Either way, Bemis, the young prospect here for Faze. has been brought to stand in. And lucky for him, there's that MAC-10, Flusha. He was saving it for him. He was waiting for him with it. That's going to be another round for Fnatic. The Swede's looking hot right now. Yeah, you got to say as well, right? Like, you know, um... Oh, dear. Yeah, that, that's just so unfortunate. you got to say, the knife is good for Brokey, right? Because he gets yeah. $1,500. Now he can buy the AWP into the first rifle round here for FaZe Clan. It was available, but it would have not been without any, you know, these little bonuses, the kit, the util, etc. So, yeah, Fnatic in control, but FaZe on their first gun round. And this is where they look to get on the board. Deep monster smoke from the spawn side. Crimson's got to flash players into B short, and Fnatic are running the gauntlet in towards water. No one here from FaZe to stop them. But they are, again, stacked for B. This is a pretty standard setup for FaZe. They love it and Fnatic might just give them a reason to commit as they look to pressure B. That's what it's starting to look like at least. I mean they've left Brolin over here to kind of just make sure that the playground isn't compromised. They're gonna bring the bomb back. The bomb is being towed across right now over here towards this Fnatic side of the A site. There's still an option for them to go back down the connector but overall slow smooth and smooth is fast and for Brolin this whole round's been slow. He's not had any interaction at all. No friends until now. Look at them. They're going forward deep. They're going to go towards Brokey. Here's that AWP that we talked about. Let's see if they Ooh. line up one. Not good for one. It's JW. Revenge. He knifed last round. He's going to sacrifice that AWP right away. That's what you like to see. Now he can even pick it up if he wants. Flash is selling a B fake. This is pretty standard for Fnatic. And Flash is going to go down, but luckily there are more than enough members to deal with this A play. Rain buys a, you know, walks right past Brolin, absolutely blindsides him through that smoke. And Nico has even dropped the bomb mid plant. This is a mess right now for Fnatic, and they need to pick it back up. Crims stuck with a double peek from FaZe. It's just JW. He can't find that AWP on Brokey. It's pushed short side. He could actually go for it now. No one's watching it. But in a one on four with 20 seconds, good luck getting away with your life. Cold Zero won't let it happen. Coming in from the back line and putting a number on FaZe's board. One taken here on the CT side. Yeah, and that's, you know, that might be all it takes for a team like FaZe or for many teams. You know, you just got to find that one round. Some teams let seven, eight, nine rounds slip away to, to nil before, you know, they find their first round. But, uh, well, it, it can be the tie changer in the game. So let's see if FaZe Clan can respond with another round here on the back of that one. One thing Fnatic have been really good at on this T side is using Flusher as like this Lurk player on Overpass. They, they basically put Flusher on the opposite side of the map to the unit, to the bomb. And, you know, regardless of which fight he's on, you'll see Flusher like walking through A toilets, selling a fake on his own. FaZe start to consider it's A, and the Fnatic B rush off the back of that. Well, we see the you know reverse of that in the previous round. Flusher running through Monster as Fnatic commit to that A site just to try and cut off the rotations, kill FaZe as they begin to move between sites. And, you you know, he doesn't always get a kill from it, but he can provide just a lot of chaos by, you know, prodding the back line of FaZe. 3-1 up right now. Brokey back on the AWP, not looking for that long flip shot that didn't connect in the previous. FaZe is going to move away from the monster here, whereas Fnatic do quite the opposite. They move into that area and it, it back to a bit of a fake for JW, throwing smoke to deny info on that A site. Fnatic are ready to execute B and FaZe have fallen for it. Look at this rotation, two on A, plus a man in heaven going up. There's only two on this lower site. The train gets in the way though. Yeah, it absolutely did. 
Somehow Crims, though, just barely missing his shot. It's Bemis, lonely Bemis, all by himself at the barrels. And he's got to hold off a Fnatic that's looking to get in the site. Flusha will be the one to remove him from the barrels itself. But now, Coldzera on a crossfire. Ooh. Can't seem to hold the fort down either. Nico, what do you got for us? Seems to be not much, but has landed us a 2v2 with the bomb planted here in the B bomb site. Oof. Krems looking to tap away. Had a remarkable first map. Looking to carry it on right here. Shots being exchanged, but it's Brokey that's slidden out with AWP in the meantime. His teammate Rain has fallen. What can Brokey do here? It's not quick enough to find Golden. That's going to be another round for Fnatic. And well, for FaZe, for it to be even gotten that close is, you know, a great thing for them, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, they fell for it initially, but then had really quick rotates down towards B. But unfortunately, the two players that remain, the two anchors in the site, just completely whiff. Like Cold, he sprays from the short side. He misses every bullet. And Fnatic just overwhelm him and then kill the player in the pit as well. So, yeah, FaZe may have not, you know, be completely blindsided on their rotates, but you need your defensive players on B to actually put up a killer piece there and without it phase get broken in the in the money so broke you on a zeus pretty standard so we look for a quick ah but actually as soon as he's spotted runs right away it's rain that's pushed mid and could find brolin in the playground brolin's checking his back though Rain doesn't know he's here either, so... Oh dear, he tries to walk past him. Brolin checks the timing. Good stuff from him, keeping things alive for Fnatic. And now, Fnatic know is a beast act. They know because of Rain being in their spawn, or at least trying to be in their spawn, the phase will have put a lot of numbers on B. So for Fnatic to commit here in a 5 and 4 would be a very dangerous decision. They should at least either work picks or try and rotate the bomb out of there. They just pull a little bit more utility out of Fnatic too in the process, the sort of limbo that Fnatic find themselves in and at least figuring out what they want to do. They they reversed, they've re-steered the ship and it looks like they want to go towards Fountain, potentially even all the way up to A as it's completely clear right now. Don't know that obviously, because if they did, they would just be taken off. If you're phase here and you know what you're up against, if you see Flusher in this position, you should already be considering the fact that the bomb's A. Like, this is going to happen pretty much every T-side round for Fnatic. Flusher just being in, being is so annoying and just staying around, not letting phase feel like they can rotate because the second they start to run, Flusher's going to charge and uh, get in the back line. So, yeah, I think phase already realized Flusher got one kill and we instantly saw, like, Brokey and Nico turn around and start to look towards heaven. Fnatic already had that A bomb site and, well, with that, they have the round, a fifth pretty much locked in. Nico's just looking for exits, and while he finds Flusher on short, it's only the MAC-10 lost for Fnatic. Not really a pickup for Nico. He's just going to look to escape. 5-1. Fnatic looking good. Moreover, this is what you would expect. Things in the ways of the world currently, especially for FaZe Clan, who have Bemis, which at some point does stop becoming an excuse. However, you do see the resilience they have. The resilience there. Cold Zero. Yeah. Resiliency. I see it. Sorry, man. <laughs> um, anyways, <laughs> moving swiftly along, our fanatic. Yeah, in a big way. 5-1. I mean, this isn't really a surprise to me. Like, you know, with with how Fnatic have been on this map, with the fact that FaZe don't really play it, and with how competitive that first one was, uh, you know, yeah, Fnatic, they're going about their business and they're doing it well. And I, uh, phase rather with a double orb and that's a bit of a rarity to see it so early but they're already getting pressured and cold wants to try and switch things up brokey has got his on that top site cold taking his down lower looking towards b short fanatic fully set up out, outside of b apart from jw who gets removed on long cold finds a kill from his orbs and this double investment from phase clan is already profitable finding two kills and no trades from fanatic they can't just commit towards b here although what else can they really do in this round no map control and two men down phase are even watching monster so if this player tries to move out with a bomb not only will it get spotted but it will likely get dropped just look at the firing line that phase have set up across the map right in the midst golden takes down cold zera at least puts one of the awps out of there but a flash is going to work wonders it's going to be brought to him by nico golden falls out to venus is in four now two on four that is and the firing line well it's kind of been mashed up Fnatic want to get out into this B-bomb site. They don't want to let it go just yet. 45 seconds left in the clock. Here comes Nico with the lineup for two. Easy does it. And 
FaZe Clan put a second one up on the board. And they get away with both orbs as well. So, you know, getting dropped in the pit, not a problem for FaZe. They can very easily blend in with the ground on Monster, but FaZe do secure everything. And those orbs, well, they do everything, at least to start the round. Look at these two opening kills for FaZe Clan. It was Nico finding a double on top of it. And not much Fnatic can really do towards that B bomb site. They're probably going to move away from that now, as it's not really been you know, full of success. Or maybe they're going to do the opposite. Maybe they're going to rush it. Fast Molotovs and Fnatic. They move really quickly into B-Short. Even smoking phases Molotov. The boost up oh, could be a oh. collapse. It's only one. And how quick is that trade? Crims doesn't even let Cold oh, get man. off the top. What a shot from Crims. And that's the response they need for Fnatic. You lose that player early on. You want to try to keep the numbers game. Crims doesn't look to slow down, though. Look at him. He's in a place where absolutely no idea that they, he oh. could be, should be. What? Nico continues to carry the legacy right here with two kills of his own, holding onto this site on his lonesome. Fnatic have made this a much closer round than they had to. Brolin and JW, now the only two standing left for Fnatic. Now they make it even numbers. And the plant coming through as well. The smoke provides a little bit of cover and the shots as well. JW tagging rain and re-smoking the bridge. That allows FaZe to move out of CT though and set up for this retake. But Fnatic are using that smoke as cover to retreat back towards short side. They've got to be careful from the spam. JW knows they're on the other side, but knowing it's half the battle. He might go through this one. JW playing off of the audio. Rain's going to drop him. Very good from Rain. Brolin's now left in the clutch and Brokey's caught him in the sight. Brolin trying to find that second player. Rain's wrapped and he will get away with a kill. Defuse, just enough time for FaZe Clan, and he should be able to save an AWP as well. They get it done in the post plant. Cheeky little try from Fnatic there, and the fact that Crims even gets into the... Was it was it Crims in the pit? Or was it, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was the fact that he gets his thief, like, he shouldn't need to do anything else, but Brokey flashes from heaven, and then Nico just flicks shots as Crims is blinded. Like, that position alone should win Fnatic the round, but no one plays off the back of it, and Nico is able to just swing and trade. Well, tactical timeout comes in for FaZe Clan, and you're right. I mean, we looked at just the recovery, excuse me, the recovery that was uh, made by Crims right there. And I have to say like, okay, you've hit this great shot. And next thing you know, and in the blink of an eye, he finds himself inside of the site and they have no idea he's there. And you would have thought that was enough. JW has 131 knife kills in a pro play. That is, wow. And probably probably the most knife kills. Uh, maybe, maybe AZS could double check that for us, but I'd imagine it would be pretty damn high if you ask me. And uh, yeah, Brokey, he's got to be uh, be very careful. JW's out for revenge. If he sees him in any clutches, I imagine things are going to get cheeky for Fnatic. Right now, though, things are getting cheap for Fnatic as the money is run dry. Back-to-back -back B plays going the way of FaZe has put Fnatic back on pistols. And let FaZe get somewhat in control of this game now. They can start to feel confident on the CT side. And you can see they're already taking matters into their own hands. Connect controlled. Reigns push the playground. JW trying to deep down Nico, and he's got to be very careful as well. Just want to go down early, give a gun over, but most importantly, let Fnatic essentially split this middle portion through T spawn and Con. That's what JW is trying to get up with, but FaZe won't give them anything. They know they're on eco, and they're just going to retreat back to the site. That's a good call for FaZe, playing things very safely. And giving Fnatic all the room to move, but they're going to be moving into these long angles, these long ranges up short side, up long, through toilets, into the orbs of FaZe. Yeah, and that distance is going to ha be something that FaZe has in their pocket, especially with a player like Nico with a scope in his hands. Even on 40 HP, pretty scary individual. There you go, first shot, lands it on the roll and looks for the wall bank. It's ridiculously close. Ooh. Some teammates here to help him. It was Rain. Now Rain's going to have oh, to sit there. Le right. Oh my god, Golden. One thing they haven't done and could prove to be fatal is check the corner for Brokey. Brokey's only good for one. That was the saving grace. That bought him just enough time. Cold Zera is on the spot. Johnny on the spot with the ammo. And it's JW in a 1v2. Yeah, quite a wrap round as well for how much value you got to wonder. 20 seconds here. JW's got to be really quick in the sight. He can't start walking along. He's just got to run and try and get that bomb back under his control. 15 now. And FaZe double set up in the bank. JW, last thing he'll expect. He smokes the bomb. Hoping that maybe FaZe is going to give him anything here. But they spam him through the corner. They see his feet. And that's enough for FaZe Clan to take the round. Nice setup there on that A site. Even though the one deeks come through from Golden. And they are impeccable. Brokey, Coltira. These two are able to put up a stellar defense and shut down the round. Yeah, Brokey pulls just enough attention right there. And the timing works out so well yeah. for Coltira. Really did. Probably put a gasp of air in their lives. Fnatic 
getting a little bit suffocated potentially, especially with Molotov's landing in their T round. But they're going to move through them with the smoke. The flash is good, and Brokey is blind. He can't connect a shot. We'll have to fall off mid as well. Rain's hanging around at the connector. He's hoping that they're going to go past him so he can come in on a backstab later. But JW's being very loud and proud down lower. Ooh, Crims. Ooh, dear. Okay. Taking a bit of a fight onto Nico. Only just avoids death, does Nico. Down to 40. so scared to move through middle and I don't blame them with how these orbs have been for phase JW's trying to click connect but rain has been silent all round long and JW he checks it but he doesn't get away with a kill rain chance to elicit some pain for phase clan and well cold zero will join on that plan he's going to find flasher outside of b fanatic moving up middle they have no bomb though and rain like said on this backstab now from the con side he won't commit he knows he's holding a very important piece of real estate here for the phase clan and in a five on three fanatic don't have a lot of chances here to make this happen crims is leaving b to grab that bomb just to reroute with a group of fanatic on this a site but even if they do so, they're walking into a double setup with an orb here as well. And remember, Rain, he hasn't moved. And he's here in all of this. Oh, yes, he is. He's got a lot of information, and all of it so crucial. Every second of it that passes. Even if Golden finds that first kill in the Brokey, this is such a spanner in the woods. Ooh. They're going to continue to find some frags, though. So if Rain doesn't hurry up or stop what could be a bomb plan here. Start turning very dicey. In fact, Brolin has no commitment. He has no problem until now, where Rain has the answer. And ultimately, they're going to get the DTUs. They're going to save some ops. And well, FaZe are going to pick up that round where Rain does push the extremity. He does find himself in the back lines. And you wonder, is the timing going to work out? It almost doesn't. Yeah, and Fnatic, they make the best of a bad situation there, right? Crims plants for CT because they know that Rain's coming behind. But Brolin can't really cover because there are two in the dumpster. And they just flash out. Brolin gets blinded. He has to hide truck. And then Crims gets kind of hung out to dry. But, like, you know, what else can you do there if you're Brolin? You're, you're blind. You can't save your teammate. And uh, yeah, Fnatic, they just fall in the post plant. But they get the plant, and that's what matters. Giving them a little bit of money uh, for the short term. But they're going to spend all of it, Trace. They're not lo looking to put it in their savings account. They're looking to spend every single penny in winning a follow-up round. And towards B, they want to do it. Would you say Fnatic are being fiscally irresponsible? I, I wouldn't have bought here. Like, you know, Fnatic, it, it's not like they made last round close or anything, or they, they have FaZe's money completely on the edge. It, it is low, but you know FaZe are going to force regardless. But Fnatic, they want to go they want to go aggressive and they're going to at least trade out one but this heavy b site defense is full with cts three of them and all of them finding kills range one tap brolin out and again a part for fanatic it's nice but it's not enough as phase surely should be able to retake this three on one yeah you just you do love to hear that there's something so satisfying in that headshot you know it's just nice either way jw jw with his deagle out, 1v3. He's gonna work his way up the sandbags, try to position himself here after picking up an AK. Oh. Just try to stop the defuse. Now, he hasn't heard the bomb get tapped yet, and that's because they're not even close to it. They're not in the site, but they're starting to lock it down. Uh -oh. Eco goes far. He checks monster. Here comes a flash with the smoke and the spray for JW. They're gonna stick it. The bomb's gonna get defused. JW didn't quite have the bead on it, did have the read on it, but at the end of the day, it's FaZe Clan to pick up the round. They put six, Fnatic. Oh, they're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. Yeah, a little too far to the right for JW. And, and also, when you're spraying a smoke like that and you get a kill, so often you think you've killed the defuser and instead you just killed a man blocking the defuser. So, yeah, FaZe get that retake, even though it takes a minute. And they're gonna be up in the lead now on the map pick of Fnatic. This is a good start from FaZe. Can they keep up these appearances? Brokey with the AWP in middle. I'm liking how fast all these decisions are in the round, right? Like, every round starts and closes with a bang. We don't have a lot of slow defaults from Fnatic where they're just holding mid, uh, you know, for a minute. They're working the map, uh, going for these kills, and they're taking names. Moving back to middle again, sneaky, sneaky Fnatic. Phase of rotating the third man up to that top site. B's been pretty quiet so far, and with BMAS holding a deep line towards B short, he's cleared that entire area out. So Phase, they're expecting an A play, and they're expecting it right. Key on the AWP. Pitbull here, Nico's got the first kill in the round, but it'll be Brokey that has to find some action if they do continue to press, which it looks as though they've, they've wisened up to that idea. They say, you know what, Nico, you can have this whole thing. We're good. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We'll catch you later. But little did they know, Bemis spotting off of sandbags. 
Here comes a pop flash from JW. Now they're gonna open the door at the same time. That's gonna give them that lead time to try to clear water. Golden, probably a little flashbang by his teammate there. Of course, timing. I don't think he thought there was a second one coming. Yeah, I don't think anybody did, really, yeah. Oh, B-Mass, he is very close. JW could jump on his head. The full-on Goomba Stomp potentially in this site. Fnatic are going. Flash is going to clear him. B-Mass gets away with one, but Flash doubles down. That's huge from Flash, but is it enough for Fnatic? It's only Bronan is again left in a clutch here. A one on three bomb in the site. He gets a kill, but this orb is still here. This orb is still holding down the line, and with every second that passes, Rain gets closer and closer on this flank. There's only 10 seconds left. He needs to grab this one right here, right now, and Missing the shot from Brokey. Brolin can tap it, but he should be dead to Rain. And they're going to rush him down. Oh, Brolin. He's not got it. He's not got it. Rain can't move. He should have moved, and he oh, won't move. He'll wait oh for God. the kill to deliver itself to him <laughs> and take the round for face clan. Oh, you have to look at that, too, and think, wow, could it get much closer than that? Nico starts the round off. Brokey's just kind of left to his own devices on A. And then Brolin by himself. That's actually a really good call for FaZe to make Brokey sacrifice his life there instead of Rain, because if Rain rushes and Brolin fakes, which he does, uh, Rain can die and Brolin can stick the bomb with Brokey not being able to cover. Right. Plus, Brolin doesn't know Rain is there, obviously. So the fact that Brokey's essentially suiciding for that round has set Rain up for the clutch. If it goes the other way round, Brolin wins it. So yeah, that's actually a really good play from, from FaZe, using the, the information the Fnatic don't have against them. Brokey's won 63% of the one-on-ones he's been in. Not bad. That is damn good. It's better than Nico and Flush. I mean, you know what they say. D's get degrees. Do they say that? Actually, I think it's C's get degrees. <laughs> but regardless, only D's that we're going to be talking around, uh, talking about around here will be these rounds. Yeah, of course. Seven to five. FaZe Clan have found the rhythm that they need on their CT side, Hugo. Smiling face. Yeah, and Fnatic, they want a bit of rhyme to their rhythm. They want the rush to the B-bomb site. Again, it's not been great to them, but Flusher doesn't care. He's not thinking about the past. He's more focused on the present, maybe even the future. Fnatic looking for a bomb plant. Brokey's already wallbanged Flusher out from behind default, and he just rotates up A, because that was the only player they saw inside of B, but B-Mass has realized that there's a little bit more twist in the tail. There's a little bit more tease in the site, and Fnatic losing another man before they eventually b abandon this position. But this has just been Fnatic like looping in and out of yeah. B in these past few rounds for very little success. And <laughs> that one, well, that one's going to stink. That one's going to feel good, though, for Brokey. Think, haha. You've hit that shot, and that's pretty much the end of it. Roland, again, left by himself. Does have just a deagle this time, and really nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. He'll be able to take down Nico before he finds himself exiting the round. Eight to five. Face Clan making it look good right now, making it look convincing, moreover. When you start to think about just maintaining some lives at the end of each round, maintaining weapons, and maintaining economy that's going to set them up for success in the rest of this half. Yeah, FaZe, I think, have really, really impressed me here. I, we haven't seen any of the, the A-sided rounds from Fnatic that I love so much that, that we're even getting them rounds on the board at the start of the half. They've just been abusing B, and, well, FaZe, they have been ready for it. Fnatic going back onto middle, but FaZe have a four-man setup here. This is dastardly. FaZe with two in con, with one oh. in mid, with one on long, Well, Rain will rush and he'll get taken down, but this orb will provide some salvation here for FaZe Clan, finding a man in the connector. Brokey gets a chance to fall back, and even though he has, even though he's posted back up with a teammate by his side, Cold is here to clear out anyone going party. Now Long A looks like a viable option for Ooh, Fnatic. No. They really haven't done much here this entire game on Long A. Ooh. Playing around in the bathroom is not exactly where you want to find yourself, but of course, the phase plan. The numbers on the minimap are looking a little stacked. It's so weird that they've just given up B. They're just in the heads of Fnatic. They know exactly what's going on, and they don't even care the fact that the B site's open. It's the spirit of Olaf. And obviously, he's a big face today. Because Brokey is going to be taking down Crims with AWP. This is another round that has not started well for Fnatic. The footing that they've got, the territory, the control, if you want to call it that, just simply isn't enough at this point. Brokey, he's going to go for a repeat here. Little does he know, Golden will be waiting on the other side of the wall. It's an easy kill. Golden was already, excuse me, already very low. And now it's just a 2v4. 
Yeah, Olos Spirit may have uh, hurt Fnatic, but not as much as Spirit hurt Fnatic inside of this group, dominating them the other day with a 2-0 win. Fnatic really need this victory on the board for the map down, and down by some rounds, they're getting some crucial kills on this A site. Now, will it open it up for a plant despite FaZe's four-man setup? They rotate to B, and now they're going to come back up into the A site. Flusher doing more damage by the second. Nico shouldn't be having this kill ever, and Flusher will not let it happen. Brola's got the rotate cut off, and missed shots, but he at least put B mass down low, and there's no way that Fnatic should be able to drop this round. The bomb is parted for them. Brolin has a cross from the bank, and that's six near the end of the half. One left for Fnatic to find. Okay, a couple questions here. Obviously, Rain really full sent it right there yep. towards the playground. We really just saw him Big W it all the way out. Now, to lose this, though, this is what, a two on four, 4v2, something like that? Yeah. That's going to hurt. The only reason they lost it is because of FaZe, you know, finally doubted themselves, Trace. They, they had that full belief it was an A play with four there, and then they eventually moved two players back down and, and, and out of the round. So, you know, towards connected to B, trying to clear out that site because Fnatic went silent, but it's only because they were grouping up towards A. Exhausting all efforts. It's going to be Fnatic. They want to put a last round on the board here in the last round of the half. Round number 15, we said 8-6. Nico boosted up, looking at water, spotting water, knowing that this has been at least a place that Fnatic have been hanging out decently regularly. Yeah, and Rain, you know, he may have struggled back on uh, on Dust. He's having a great game right now. You know, he's one of the one of the top players in his team. The kill distribution is real close anyway. And he's been holding on the connector, coming on a lot of these flanks as well. This round looks like it's going to be the same, but if he goes too early, Golden's going to hold him. That's always the hardest thing as a con or a B-short player, knowing when is the right time to strike. And Rain, he has the intuition, he has the knowledge, he has the kills. Two from the flank. It's going to leave Crimson Flusher and another two on four. But don't count Fnatic out in these rounds. Yeah, definitely don't count Fnatic out. We saw what happened last round. Okay, maybe it's safe to count them out at this point. But Flusher, there's a smoke in front of him, so anything is possible. He sends himself right on through it. 1v4. This would be monumental for Flusher, who has an AK in his hands. He's going to drop a smoke towards Long. Look towards the sight. And well, here we are. We've returned to the scene of the crime, which is currently FaZe Clan getting away with a little bit of murder here. Nine to six, FaZe Clan up currently. And well, they want to keep it that way. We're on a pause. There's been a little bit of an internet outage for Cold Zero, I'm told, but he should be back and everything should be in order before I even get done saying this, actually. Uh, and so we've mixed things up here. We, you know, we, we had Hugo in the first half. And now we didn't bring in uh, Alex Richardson, but we brought in Harry Russell, a stunt double, yeah. if you will. Yeah, yeah, about as close as you can get, right, without the real thing. And, <laughs> uh, and, and that's, that's what I aim for, really. I think Alex Machine Richardson has approached perfection, and the rest of us, we're just basking in it, trying to imitate his glory. Hmm. What an essence it must be. But uh, Trace, we have a quite a game on our hands, right? So this series starts over on Dust 2, and there, Fnatic are up 14 to 10. It looked like they were on the path to close that one out, and uh, and then FaZe, they're able to pull it back. They 16-14, their map pick. Moving on to Overpass, being real, I kind of expected Fnatic to come into this with a rip-roaring start, right? Like, this has been a good map for them as of late. It's one that FaZe have... Uh, have had like their fair share of struggles on. And I do think that integrating someone into this uh, in, into this map in particular, you know, trying to find where BMAS slots on in was, was going to be pretty challenging. And, you know, he's not fragging out. It's not like he's topping the charts, but this phase squad, they have stood the test of time over on their CT side. And right. now with the T side about to begin, three rounds up, phase, there is a chance they can 2-0 this series right here now on overpass. Yeah, and it's hinging a little bit on this pistol too. If you think about it for phase clan, they win this. They could begin to even consider running the gauntlet right here. 2 0 ing Fnatic. Unheard of, really. Here we go. Rain's going to be one of the first ones out. Crims with the response. He can only hit so many shots before he runs out of bullets. But it's all going in the way of FaZe Clan. So far, so good. Just Brolin and Flusha alive in the sight. Brolin trying to tap him down, not really given an angle, and does deal with Cold Zera there. So this is left to two on three open. Diffuse kit on Flusher. They do have time to work with for Fnatic, but it is dwindling and starting to tick away from them. Brolin trying to spearhead this retake, looking for Nico and a convincing tap there to find him. Beamast and Brokey, double Bs. Let's see if they can buzz their way back in to this retake. They swing, they peek, and Brolin shuts them down the first time around. A stellar pistol that? from Brolin as he locks in this round for Fnatic. Seven on the board. 
as they look to make this comeback happen in the second half. And what a round right there from Brolin, right? He shows up late to the party, but who shows up on time to parties, Harry? That's kind of the real question that we need to be asking ourselves. Brolin here, well, guess what? He is the party. He's able to take them all down. He's running the board right there in that pistol round, and that's certainly something that Fnatic needed. They put seven up to phases nine. That's going to go a long way. Forced by in from FaZe, they've thrown everything they can into this round. It's going to have a, a couple of AKs and a Galil behind it. Deagles for Rain and Beamass. Early on, setting up down here in the connector with two, focusing out, trying to grab this mid control. They've got Beamass unarmored with a Deagle floating around outside of B. Now he's just trying to keep an eye on this side of the map and deny any aggression to Fnatic. However, denying aggression the way of these Swedes is a pretty tall order as he finds out. Grims goes aggressive and shuts him down with the MP9. Brolin holding close in the toilets. And in this second half of play, he's looking to come alive once again, finding the kill that keeps things in the advantage of Fnatic here. Still creeping forward, still looking to do damage, but it's a stellar nade from Flusher that will finish off Nico. Brokey and Cold left up in a two on four, and Brokey is a long way away with this bomb. He's trying to get a bomb plant at B, and Cold is just faking into this A bomb site. He has got a lot of players here keeping an eye on him, but this doesn't mean that the B site is free real estate by any means. <laughs> As they dealt with Cold, Broki walking on in, Golden just tucked back in CT, playing retake at this B site, and actually does get shut down. I was waiting to see if Broki arrived, and he does. Now bomb planted for phase, and a one on three for Broki to find, despite being low on HP. It's not impossible, but that's not to say this is a round that Brokey should ever be picking up either. Fnatic all grouping up, coming in through CT, and they're just looking to play a numbers game. Brokey is going to be hard-pressed to find much from this position, especially with them keeping good spacing between them, trying to keep these trades open. And Brokey will get blindsided. DPU is going to come on in, three players staying alive with upgrades onto AKs on two of them. If you're Fnatic, you're going to take that all day long. And with a bomb plant for phase, they can at least put a little bit more into this round here and now and bring those orcs out into round number 19. You just got to think about this, right? Because Colzera is fighting from long. He's you know, he's by himself, he's trying to sell this grand illusion that, hey, we're still going to go for the A site. And every second that passes after his death is crucial for Brokey. He has to A, find the kill inside the site because odds are they have left someone inside of the site to defend it. And B, get the bomb planted while also being under attack. So props for getting the bomb down. That's going to help an economic situation. But here we are with a fast play out B, it looks like. Yeah, this is a, a risky round for FaZe. They, they force bought again. They've tried to keep this pace up and they have come to regret that decision in a very big way. They put everything into this round and they don't get a single kill. It's flawless for Fnatic as they tie this up at nine to nine. Harry, would you call that a waste? Uh, it's, well, so here's the problem with that kind of buy, right? Like you, you go for it and, and then you try and go for like this fast B play. You're hoping that, that Fnatic just aren't ready for you to have weapons. And it's one of these rounds where like, if it works, you look like a genius, but if it doesn't, then yeah, you are left looking like the fool because now you've got no money. You've set Fnatic up to get off to an incredible CT side start and build up a huge bank of money. And, and they're all feeling really confident now. Like Brolin is showing this in its purest form. He's just taking every gunfight across this map. So, yeah, it, you know, like I say, for FaZe, if they went in there, they get a couple of kills, they get a bomb plant, I'd have a different outlook on the whole situation. But that force, you know, it's a high risk, high reward force by you take the high risk and you get no reward. So this is a pretty awkward spot to be in now for FaZe. Fnatic should find themselves in the lead. And with a lot of money to spare, they're set up in a great spot to make this comeback happen here. Oh. All right, Brokey. A quick stop. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of stop on our journey. brokey has been taking deed lessons oh. from Nico, obviously. God. Doesn't even seem fair. But what is fair now is four versus four. The numbers have stabilized, have equalized even. That's caused Fnatic to show a little bit more interest over here towards this A site. And again, it's Brolin on the case. He's around every corner, it seems. If you're phase, you are feeling that every single time. Even now, Brokey just gets a grenade off and somehow take down Brolin in the process, keeping us equal, keeping us honest. Three versus three, Barnes. Very hurt though. Some spray coming down from Long A. And it's Flusha that's close. Go with the Deagle. We know that he's capable of using this thing, wielding it to its best power. 
take a look and see if phase clank can get inside of this site and perhaps even get the bomb plant at the very minimum they've got two rifles as it stands but the hp's not looking so pretty carry this site holds come through there's very little time and they do at least deal with bmas in that situation he, he wanted to die at the end of the round right like you don't want to risk going down after time so they just run the gauntlet best case scenario they get the kills they get the bomb planted worst case they all go down as we kind of expected and that is the outcome in this round Fnatic now finding themselves in the lead down from 9-6 to 10 to 9. You see the ramifications of these four spies and what this has meant for the scoreline on the Fnatic side. But now we finally have this first full investment from FaZe. That's a lot of Fs in that sentence. You did well. That's not bad. Oh, but maybe an F in chat for Nico. There's the trade from BMAS. And we're into this four on four trace. Brolin and Rain gonna be this next little duel. And Rain actually wins that one out. So the man advantage now residing in the phase camp. Yeah. And that's the big kill right there for, for phase, for Rain. That was a necessary kill in this round, at least. One that Nico went out almost as fast as he came in. Flush and JW and Golden left live here. Golden's gonna investigate a little bit. Perhaps give himself some forward positioning. Yeah, he wants to see him come out of connector. He wants to catch him off guard, but for the time being, this bomb's gonna be going towards monster. Yeah, Golden is a, is a key swing player in this round. Based on the success he's able to find down here in short, really does decide a lot for Fnatic. And if Ranger swings this door open and deals with him, then it's, then it's bad news for the Swedes. There is Flusher over in heaven. Golden can hear all this utility. He knows what's going on. Rain was tagged up earlier on, and he just gives that kill away. Roland now rejoining the rest of the gang at B. And actually, this has prompted a rotation from JW. So now we look to Cold Zera. He's the key man for phase. He gets deep within the A bomb site, and he's going to sneak on up just to wait to cut down these rotations. JW shouldn't be aware that players are this deep, especially not with that bomb only just going down now. Cold, not exactly a mystery where this orb resides. And he'll just wait. And in a way, the longer he waits, the more effective this position becomes, right? Because JW, I'm imagining that, ooh, he is going to check it, but Cold able to mop that kill up as he looks to put a tent on the board for FaZe. BMAS has heard a player on rotation as well. And he comes in on the behind of Golden, deals with that frag, leaves Flusher in the 1v3. And this might be a round that's asking a little too much of Senor Vac. Don't think Senior Vac has got a shot in hell in this one. 10 10. Be going into what is a tie game. Terrorists win. Here for the DreamHack Master Spring 2020. If you're just joining us, pretty opportune time. It's about like you to show up on the third map of the series. And by that, I mean the second map of the series. Not quite to the third yet, but in due time, perhaps. Yeah, we certainly could get there, right? It, 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 it felt like Fnatic were just going to steamroll this second half, but obviously that was on the back of like risky forces from FaZe. And, and, and in that round there, we see the first head-to-head -head of full weapons. FaZe do come out on top. So I don't think we have like a, a clear picture of whether or not we're going to get there yet. But Fnatic have certainly shown that they've got the resilience needed to get us to a third map. JW, I like this. Assembling this little boost for vision over the smoke. That's for any player crossing out at the top of connector. They haven't been gifted connector yet. So this is a lot of real estate for them, but it is by design. They were hoping that they were going to walk into that boost up at the divider. While all this has been going on, while connector control has been taken, these two players outside of B in Biomass and, uh, and Nico, they've been throwing in a lot of utility. And look at what this has done to the Fnatic CT hold. Four players now find their way down towards that B site. And this leaves Brolin alone up on A. Is going to drop that smoke. And on the back of Fnatic, not getting any pressure down at B. They do rotate this second man back up now. Is the timing to hit this kind of barren A bomb site is out the window. That's not necessarily what they're playing for here. They've got rain up close. They've got connector control. Still players outside of B. Your options are open to you at this point in time if you're phased. So even as you're pressuring this A site, you know, if, if you kind of see something that you don't like or you hear that you've got players on rotation, you can change your mind. And they certainly might on the back of these two players at B getting into this site. Now, 
There is some resistance offered up from Golden. Damage being done up at A in the meantime. Fnatic, they're very confused as to where this play is looking to end up. And FaZe, truthfully, they didn't even know until moments ago. This bomb rotates down towards B and they will get it planted. Flusher out from heaven, not able to go toe to toe with BMAS. He's on three kills. He has secured FaZe an 11th round, almost single-handedly. What a just a round where split second decision making comes into play for both sides, not even just as a T or as the, you know, the, the offense they're trying to get inside of a bomb site, but as the CTs as well, Fnatic thrown in a disarray. They seemingly are as confused as FaZe were. It's kind of like the old, uh, the old approach. It's, um, how can uh, how can our opponents know what we're doing if we don't know what we're doing? Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, and you know, in, in in essence, that is kind of what that round shows. It's like you know, you've left every option open, and so any option could be the one that you choose. And, and in a sense, you know, like neither team really knew where that was going to end up until these players got deep within B, and then suddenly you have that moment of realization, right? Well, if we've got this much ground, then they've got to have a heavy A stack, and then we see that rotation for phase. I'll put that 11th up on the board, and with it, they bring an economic reset onto Fnatic. No money here for the CT side. And so a 12th might be loaded in the chamber already for FaZe. Stacking up outside of B early on in this round. Nico is going to even throw in this complimenting Heaven Smoke. This is all with the goal of trying to bait some rotations down into this B bomb site. Not going to happen though. Fnatic with a four man hold over in middle. They've entrusted this B site guard onto Golden. And FaZe, they, they kind of know what they're up against. They know the money isn't there for Fnatic at this point. And they don't want to risk going down to any of these pistols. So with Cold finding that kill over in mid. Now in a five on four, I think FaZe are feeling a little bit safer. They can trade their way to victory down at this site. Cold never gets the information that there's a second man in mid, but it shouldn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. I say that. Golden tagging up two with the USP. Thankfully, all the kills come in from Nico, and he's wiped the sweat off from his brow as he's got this round back under control. Well, now on the board for FaZe. The reinvestment coming in. Rolling 23 and 14. A lot of those were just him left alive at the end of the round, it seems like. But he's definitely had an impact in this game. And for Fnatic, this is another opportunity to get back into where you started. Rolling. Very aggressive peek towards Fountain. It's going to net him some success there in the form of Cold Zera out of the round. Brokey with the response on the AWP and Rain just trying to jump spot for a little bit of information. Four versus four. Senior Vac has arrived. Looks like he wants to hang out towards the bathrooms. Posted up in the corner with the FAMAS. Bomb's still down for FaZe Clan, but a little bit further in the back line. And that's because, well, there's just simply no decision. No call has been made yet. They're waiting for Fnatic to slip up and make some errors here. They're waiting for a door of or a window of opportunity, even a door even of opportunity. It doesn't matter at this point. The idea is to get inside of the bomb site. And if Fnatic can give them any of that wiggle room, then they're going to take it. A window, a door, a small hole that Nico can like crawl his way through and get into this site. They'll, they'll take anything at this point on the phase side. And setting up to split through long and toilets, Nico maybe about to uncover Flusher and he's been spotted. Time might be running out for Flusher. That Molotov from beyond the yep. grave is going to burn out Nico. Three on three now, and JW, I like this. He takes up the position of his fallen teammate now. This isn't just him out for revenge, but that's definitely a part of it. What he does from being here is they're likely going to discount this position, because why on earth would there be a second man here? And indeed they do. Rain checks it, but he doesn't really believe in the check. And now it's just Brokey. Ten seconds on the clock. He needs these kills because a bomb plant feels very optimistic. He's hunting them down. And Deeg out does find the first. Four seconds, three seconds. And he gets shut down by Golden. 11 on the board for Fnatic. That one comes down to the time. And it's a team ace for the Swedes. Everyone stepping up and pulling their weight in that round there. Excellent decision making. 
side of Fnatic there. Reoccupy the position. Brokey does exactly what he can. You know, almost feels like if FaZe somehow 2-0 this, if they actually win this series just outright period, three, or excuse me, 2-1, whatever it takes, they will basically gotten away with murder in this group. Put the fuck 3-0. And after yesterday's showing versus Spirit, I think that's the one that they really escaped the uh, gauntlet with. Less. They're gonna try to aggress over here on the B side of things now. It's base plan with the gas pedal pressed all the way down. Bemis on the scene. He's gonna find two for himself. JW with a response in the form of an AWP. That's set up for what is only left of him and Brolin. Yeah, JW, he's trying to bait them in to this crossfire, but Nico, he's not amused by these little fun and games down at the B bomb site. 13 now on the scoreboard for phase. Stellar entries from BMAS. That second kill onto Golden was so fast. I'll be honest, I thought we switched to BMAS like midway through that spray. It looked so jarring, that flick onto the guy at barrels. That was very, very fast from him. And they just melt this B defense. If, you, if I'm phased at this point, I'm not even thinking about A. Like they've, they've just not, not been able to get into the site. And they're stacking up outside of B. This is the perfect time to just hit it out of spawn because Fnatic are only on pistols. They're stacked up in mid. They're never going to see each other. They're passing each other right now, like <laughs> ships in the night trade, the old saying goes. Yeah, and you know, loose lips sink ships, Harry. Don't even think that applies here, but nonetheless, <laughs> we get the bomb planted for FaZe Clan with 10 alive in the server. We might be looking at a unicorn round, but I highly doubt it. Bemis has set himself up here on the bottom side of the door of the connector. And with just these pistols, there really wasn't a whole lot of expectation for Fnatic, other than the fact that this does Put phase up to 14. That's just two away. I'll make it competitive here cool. at the end of the round. brokey has got some fight left in him, though. He wants to take it. Come on, then, Fnatic. Let's have it. Crims sneaking on in. Doesn't have a kit, but if he did, th there's like a danger in this round that he could have stuck the bomb. Well, blindside Brokey, but there's a lot of other players here, and the bomb is going to help in removing Crims from the map. Takes down a couple of players as he goes, though. Be sure to uh, be sure to bear that one in mind. See if that has any resounding implications. Because that's the thing, right? Like, in, in the short term, it might not feel like much, the fact that you sneak an extra couple of kills in there. But if Fnatic pick this round up, and then because of the rebuys that they forced on the back of those exits, you know, carrying over in the economy for phase, you know, it could set you up in the long run. Well, there we go. How about that for a fun fact? Yeah, wait here yeah. well, you know, man, that, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Flush has been around a long while, right? As BMAS, you know, new on the scene, but I'm sure we're going to see those stats increase over time. That's still very interesting, though. I love, like, it, it just, like, blows my mind because you, you, we've had a lot of these stats from uh, from Elliot uh, Aziask, who, like, he'll, he'll compare, you know, one player who's been around the scene for, for years versus, like, one of the new guys. And it is just mental when you think how long these guys on Fnatic, the majority of them have been playing at the top level of Counter-Strike. And I think that in and of itself is like an interesting discussion. You know, we don't really know yet how long a, a pro playing career can be. You know, is there a timer on it? Or can you just keep going if you've got the, uh, the passion and the ability, if you've had it once, you know, and you keep refining it, can you keep it up? There's, a, there's an ancient saying and I say ancient, and by that I mean, uh, I think I quote PTR when I say this. Um, heart and soul, brother. And it goes a long way. Honestly, in this situation, though, when you think about how long and the longevity of an individual playing career, well, we were asking ourselves that same question about the same time Virtus Pro was running the board, right? So, I mean, I, I really don't think that the science is there. I don't think that we have it uh, calculated just yet. I don't even think that's as easy to calculate regardless. Looks like we're going to be getting back into the server, though, and back into the swing of things, which is what I like to see. FaZe Clan up 14, Fnatic 11. This is the second map. If we need it, if Fnatic push the envelope here, they lick it and seal it. We're going to train. Here we go. This is to put FaZe up on series point. What do they got in store for us, Harry? It's do or die for Fnatic. It really is. 
they don't get this round over the line, then this could very easily be a 2-0 for FaZe. BMAS down here towards B. Now, FaZe, they've had a lot of success towards this B site, and look at what this has done to the Fnatic CT side. They have grouped all five players up towards B. Now, that is with the caveat of two, in the, two of them being in connector. So, in essence, they're, they're available to go and help at this A bomb site, but never going to get this information that long's been taken and phase in response to seeing two players peeking through the connector you, you've already anticipated that these are guys from the a bomb site nico he's just selling a fake right now and while he only gets one now the rest of the gang explode into a they've got to clear out truck and someone here has caught a very favorable timing doesn't matter for flusher as he's not able to find anything off of it three on three the a site has fallen but jw uh -oh. fast up through the connector is he going to check for cold's error He's hiding in this little position right now. Rain gets dealt with, but Cold comes in with the trade. And now it falls to him and Brokey to navigate this two-on-two -two with the bomb planted. They planted for toilets by the looks of things. So Cold can fall off and play this in the post plant. He actually tries to re-aggress in. And actually, I say they planted for toilets. Is that a CT plant? That looks like a CT plant. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's he's made the call. He's out. Brokey's he's conceded the round. It's over. He heads away, and that's a 12 for Fnatic. They needed that one big time, obviously. That's what the numbers are going to tell you. But for FaZe, it really did fall apart there at the end. Yeah, that's a little bit awkward there, right? With Cold and Brokey both falling off of the site to Long and Toilets. I couldn't really tell on the minimap where that bomb got planted, right? Because the dice box are very, very small. And I don't have my glasses on, Trey. So I'm just defending myself there. But, yeah, but with, with where they went and fell off to, I was assuming it was the Toilets plant. And, and then they both suddenly have that realization, wait, they could just stick the defuse right now. Like, we can't even keep an eye on the bomb. They try and re-aggress back into the site. And it all falls apart shortly thereafter. Now, Brokey was able to get away with the AWP at least, and he still gets the loss bonus because it was a bomb defuse as opposed to just the round ending. So he's got a bit of extra cash in the future. Is that going to be enough for FaZe? Once again, it was another close round. So Fnatic is still very much in this position where they can run out of money heading into round 28 if they lose this round. So there's still a chance for phase but they don't they won't get many more chances like this and so you've really got to seize them you really got to take them in your stride right oh now God. cold backed in it short still alive still fighting brokey getting out through monster trying to carve a path into this b bomb site but right now it's flusher who's hidden behind oh this site God. box just playing this to perfection now gonna go up and over and brokey's not ready he gets shut down follow up from flusher 13 on the board for oh fanatic they're trying to make this comeback happen and with how it's looking right now they could definitely take us there trace they could definitely take us to trade there's two players with cash for phase, but that's not enough to justify the buy in this round. Not in my eyes, at least. I think take this buffer while you've got it, and that's what they're going to do. Just Eagles here for phase Clan. My, oh, my, Fnatic, they, they could they could make this comeback happen. And, and you look at this, and you see a couple of rounds ago where it's Nico. He walks up to Sandbags, just two bullets a guy. And you think, okay, well, why don't we do that every round? You know, why don't we just get up there in a couple bullets, toss a couple towards a couple heads, and just walk away with it. Instead, now, now it's FaZe Clan that finds themselves on them deagles. So it doesn't get any easier for them by any stretch. But you're right, they will have some investment in the next round. That's going to leave a little bit of room to run over here on the side of Fnatic, who are making a case for a comeback, Harry. Spamage going there in the way of Nico. Brings him down to 62 HP. It's even going to back him away from the connector door overall. Job's done. Yeah, it's going to be another one of these A plays for FaZe. I hate to say it, but BMAS should have been dead there. But he's able to deal with Crims up close. And man advantage taken. Still only Deagles, right? It's going to take a little while before you get too worried. But, but now, now this is where you start to get worried. JW, he's a man who doesn't really... Oh! Okay, never mind. He just gets deeged out the round as well. The Deagles might be enough for FaZe, Flusher, and Golden. Two on four to try and deny an eco victory from FaZe Clan to find Mansion Series point. Nico has retrieved an AWP. That is a scary sight in and of itself. FaZe Clan, more like D Clan. Look at him go. This retake is almost impossible here for Flusher and Golden, but we've seen stranger things happen.
Yeah, kit on Flusher, smoke on Golden. They can try and get that onto the bomb. I think that's really the only combination of things that are going their way. Flusher, midair. All right, buddy. He gets that kill. Smoke on the bomb. Flusher taps it. He is the man with the kit. He's got to stick it now. They've got to get him off. And Nico's going to nail it with the Deagle. 15 for phase. Match and series point. And all 10 players in the server perish in that round. But ultimately, if you're looking for victors there, boom. with everyone dying, that is going to massively benefit phase. They they had money anyway. That was an eco round with players already on four thousand dollars heading into it, and so money is great for them. And you look over at Fnatic, the team that have grinded their way to making this comeback feel doable, and they've got absolutely nothing to work with here up against this full buy. Fnatic need this round. They need it now. This is a serious point. And this for Phase is the point of them going undefeated in the groups. Smooth, smooth as fast. I think we continue to do just that. Phase Clan. Gonna seal the deal. Are everybody a little bit tense? And obviously so. Checkered flag is out and they are ready to wave it around. Krims jump spotting. Doesn't have any info from it. Doesn't see anybody there just yet, but he's gonna back away. Now we're gonna see Phase can occupy the position. And this would be, as you say, this would be FaZe going flawless. Another flawless group stage from FaZe if they're able to get this this round over the line here and now. They already did this back at the Road to Rio European Division, if you remember. Of course, when they reached the playoffs, it wasn't as plain sailing. But this is still a good look for FaZe, a squad that infamously recently has had trouble winning games that they, that they should be winning. And so I can't imagine the kind of relief it must feel that finally you're starting to see the... The, the results of all the hard work you're putting in outside of the server. You're starting to feel them tangibly in the server now. Golden gets the information that they're outside of B. And so a full rotation coming in from Fnatic. But these AKs, as they get up close, they're going to turn Fnatic into Mincemeat. Can the Deagles get this over the line in this round for Fnatic? It's not looking like it for so little time. Seven seconds.